brushes? Great, we're all set. Hey, where are you guys going? Miss Goddard just bought a new house, and we're going over to help fix it up. Well, how nice of you. She's paying us $10 each. How nice of her. Sixty-six Chair and Drive. This is the place. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Isn't this exciting? A nail here, some extra buttressing there, a fresh coat of paint, and this house is as good as new! You know, suddenly ten dollars doesn't sound all that great. Yeah. How long do you think this will take? Two, three months tops. No use moaning about it, Charlie. We promised Miss Gatto. Uh, that wasn't me. Maybe it's just the house settling. Uh, that's probably just the wind. Hmm, pretty standard indication of a poltergeist. But I don't think so. No, if this house was haunted, the ghost would give us a more obvious sign of its presence. Mona! Another head? You can't get more obvious than this! Ah! What is going on out here? Hate to be the one to break it to you, Miss Gatto, but your house is haunted. Oh, Mona, what an imagination. <laughs> haunted. Let's see. Sneezing powder, itching powder, eye of newt, toe of frog, invisibility rings, rubber spiders, magic wands. Hey there, Mona. Hey, Big Al. What are you shopping for today? Well, it looks like we've got us a ghost situation over at 666 Charon Drive. You mean the old Washburn place? Yeah, what have you heard about it, Al? That house was owned by old man Washburn until one dark night. When... He disappeared? He passed away? It's stark raving bonkers? He moved out. Moved out? Yes, complaining about odd noises, strange occurrences, and ghostly apparitions. Here you go. What's this stuff? Everything you need to bust a ghost. Visibility powder. Guaranteed to make even the most hard-to-see spirit visible. Stickers of confinement, guaranteed to trap the most elusive poltergeist in whatever you happen to stick them on. Specs of anti-hypnotism. Not only do they keep you from being hypnotized, but they also work as 3D movie glasses. All for only $7.95. $7.95? That's a fortune. We can't afford that. <sighs> well, I guess we can't catch a ghost with substandard equipment. Al? We'll take them. Have fun. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> it's so nice of you to volunteer to come over tonight. Our pleasure, Miss Gatto. And don't worry, we'll get rid of your little problem for you. You just clean what you can. If anyone needs me, I'll be upstairs stuccoing my bedroom. All right, everything we need is right here. Let's get to work. comes through the door, it'll trigger our trap, giving me the opportunity to hit him with the visibility powder. Okay, everybody, anti-hypnotism specs on. Ah. 
Let's lure that ghost back to our trap. Ghost, we've got you cornered. Finish your cake and start cleaning up. I promised your parents you'd be in bed before 10. That gives us less than an hour to catch the ghost. But how are we gonna trap it? Yeah, Mona, obviously this isn't your average ghost. It's smart. Maybe too smart to fall for any of our traps. It's the ghost! The trap worked! We got him! Uh. Ha ha! No run-of-the-mill house ghost is a match for Mona the Vampire! Oh! Miss Gatto, what happened to you? <sighs> I've had enough. This is your final warning. Any more tomfoolery and I'll drive you home myself. <sighs> this is impossible, Mona. How can we catch something we can't see? Look! <laughs> Mr. Ghost, start talking. Why are you trying to scare us out of this house? I wasn't trying to scare anyone. I was just trying to help. Though, granted, I may be a little clumsy. Well, we appreciate the help, but you'll have to leave now. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm stuck in the world of the living. I've tried to move on to the great beyond, but I don't know how. You can do it. No, can't. Sure you can. Close your eyes. Now concentrate on the great beyond. Concentrate. Concentrate. Now open your eyes. Go to the light. Go to the light. The light. I see it. The light.
And these stickers of confinement should keep him in there until we figure out what to do with him. So we cleaned up the house, including those ghostly pink footprints, and Miss Gatto was none the wiser. The end. Well, things worked out fine for you guys and Miss Gatto, but what about that poor ghost? Having to spend the rest of his days in a refrigerator. Oh, don't worry. We made a deal and I let him out. The ghost is now living quite happily in somebody else's attic. <laughs> what an imagination. That sounded like it came from the attic. Darn! <sighs> How about we try the pet store? No way! I need real frogs for my aquarium. <sighs> Only one way to find out. Maybe we should turn back. No way! It's gonna take more than some spooky screeching to make a chicken out of me. And Charlie yelled, wah, and ran for his life. And I ran after him, just to make sure he didn't fall down and get hurt. I wasn't scared. If you ask me, it looks like we've got a swamp creature on our hands. I know you're out there, swamp creature, and I'm going to waste no time tracking you down. After I have my snack. Fang, you coming? Creature. It surprised me in the kitchen. It loomed right over me, then went straight for my mom's tuna casserole. Oh, creepy! Especially the tuna casserole part. We've got to do some research. Meet me at the library tomorrow morning. We can't make a move until we know what we're up against. But we know what we're up against. You even said it yourself. A swamp creature. <sighs> Just do me a favor and call Lily. Tell her to meet us at the library. Okay, guys, we've got our work cut out for us. Creepy swamp creatures are bad enough, but when they start dropping by uninvited, well, you have to draw the line. Hmm, what have we here? The good, the bad, and the muddy. Bog boogie. Swamp creatures of the 70s. And best of all, swamp sightings, fact or fiction. Let's move out. It says here that there have been over a hundred sightings in this area. But until now, no one has been able to accurately document a real life swamp creature. Get down! Not that down! Gregory! Mona! Are you all right? 
for heaven's sake, what brings you to the swamp? We're investigating a swamp creature, and we almost caught up with it. Oh, that's the story of my life. Come along, children. I'll fill you in. Welcome to my home away from home. Some would prefer a villa in Tuscany, but my cabin by the swamp suits me fine. You see, I have an interest in the creature as well. I, too, have heard its mournful cries. Over the years, I've reported my sightings, but the newspapers and radio stations think I'm a kook. Lately, the creature has been showing up a lot. It seems it can't get enough of my prune cluster bars. Oh, understandable, I guess. It stole three batches this month. Oh. <laughs> One good photo is all I need. Then they'll have to believe me. Consider it done, Reverend Gregory. We'll help you get your proof, or my name isn't Mona the Vampire. Your name isn't Mona the Vampire. It's Mona Parker. Close enough. Creature Patrol reporting for duty. Coming. <laughs> Thought I'd dress for the occasion. Spiffy. Ooh. So, what do you kids have in mind? Don't worry, Reverend. You can rest easy. We'll take care of everything. I think that's deep enough. Check this out. That's awful! What is it? I recorded my father singing in the shower, then played it at a high speed. Pretty impressive, huh? By playing this, our swamp creature will think it's another one of its kind. It's sure to step up and into our little surprise. What? Let's go get Reverend Gregory. hot out of the oven. Here, you take this. I'll take care of the video equipment. Mona, do you mind carrying the camera? <gasps> so we meet again. Could it be? Over there. Wait for me. Odd. The wailing is coming from this direction. Time to clean up. We've got to get out of here. There's a swamp creature on the loose. Didn't you hear its horrific wailing? Did it sound something like this? Yes! As a matter of fact, a lot like that! See? I'm pretty horrible. That's why I play down here. So no one will hear me. I can't help it. I just love the violin. <laughs> Case 
swamp creature. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to take your picture, okay? I think it's friendly. Yeah, it just wants to say hello. Hello there. Would you like a prune cluster? He's so cute. For my next number, a little ditty from Fiddler on the Fence. Make him stop! Make him stop! Hi, I'm Nestor W. Peabottom, child violin prodigy. Charmed! While I was sidetracked by Nestor here, the real swamp creature got clean away, I suppose. We missed our chance. You mean... I dropped the camera. Sorry. That's all right, children. At least we almost did it. One day the world will have its proof. Hey, look! Dance the Swamp Creature! Reverend Gregory finally got his picture. He's proven once and for all that the Swamp Creature really does exist. Don't believe everything you read, kids. Especially in those trashy papers. 